Here we have the classic Atlas van line and the classic hydros from 2014, copyright 2014, Salvator Productions, all rights reserved. Enjoy the show. Coming up in the hydroplane pits is the, the old Atlas van line ran by Bill Muncy. And I tell you, I remember seeing this one back. Oh, it's great. Uh, it's coming back around. He's going to go around once. It's kind of. Let's listen as they go by. Uh, listen to that. That's, imagine five hydroplanes like that racing along the race course. Now, imagine, like I said, imagine five of those, five or six of those racing all through the 50s, 60s, up in, into the early 80s when there was nothing but uh, five or six of those racing each lane. And you think this is the one, one running right here. You should uh, hurry it back then. There's two. Oh, there we are. There is also the classic uh, uh, Miss Madison. Okay. Go ahead. Classics. Yeah, classics. Lots of close ups. Go for it. Take over. Gonna hit my cameraman. I'm gonna get out of the way. Oops. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, there is the Blue Thunder and the Miss Atlas Van Line driven by Chip Hanar. Wow, let's just listen. The Blue Thunder. Like I said earlier, the Blue Thunder was raced by uh, Bill Muncy, who was killed in 1981 at the Acapulco race down in Mexico. And uh, the hydroplane, we have the Hydroplane Race Museum to thank because uh, four years ago, uh, the Atlas Van Line was sitting in it and going to rust and need to have a lot of stuff put in there. But you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, it has been restored after four years, a lot of hard luck, work and volunteers. Check it out. Just the Rooster Tales. That's how it originally started here in 1951. And Bill Muncy, like I said, was driving this one. And then following right behind that one, right next to it, is also the, uh, uh, the Budweiser, driven by Chip Hanauer. Chip Hanauer is, is right now is currently driving the uh, Bill Muncy's blue boat, the Atlas Van Line. Beautiful boats. Here they come around the north turn. Oh. I was talking with with Fred Father. Wow, I just love that thunder. I was talking earlier with Fred Farley in our interview earlier with him. He said that he had the opportunity to be able to ride in one of these uh, hydroplanes. And boy, I tell you, it is uh, absolutely fantastic. He said they go about, can get up to 150, 160 miles per hour. And they're doing about 130 miles per hour, like he said, scared the living daylights out of them. And uh, he said for a while there, he's kind of shaky about it. But uh, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that's really cool. Now, once again, as they're going, as they, let's just watch and enjoy this as they go right up along the, along the log boom and show off to the fans and come around the north turn. Really pouring it on this time. They're gonna really show off to the crowds. They come around in our turn, competing against each other. I sure am looking forward someday to take a ride on one of those. That's on my bucket list. <laughs> wow. I think they're gonna make one more round. Just, uh, they were averaging about probably 115, 120 miles per hour. They don't want to go too fast because these engines that they replace, the old Merlin Royce, uh, Rolls Royce engines, are very hard to come by. So they want to be very careful when they show off and go around there. They just come around south, turn, head to the log boom, and straight away. And they're going to pour it on a little bit this time. Oh, yeah. Bill Muncy has won more races than any race racer on an unlimited race circuit over the years. Like I said, 
Hydroplane Racing came to Seattle in 1951. When Stan Sayers won in Detroit, he won the Gold Cup, 1950. And then brought here to Seattle, which entitled them to bring the Gold Cup to Seattle. And they brought the Hydroplane Racing here, the Gold Cup. And it's been here ever since. The sport's changed a little bit, but I'll tell you what, nothing quite like looking at these unlimited classics as they come around the north turn, head towards start finish tower. Brings up a big chill up all over you, raises it up. If you're here on the shore watching this, boy, I tell you, it's fantastic. Oh, the crowd's just loving it. I know I certainly am. Boy, brings back a lot of memories, huh? All right. Wow. They can go f like uh, from zero to 60 in something like maybe 15, 20 seconds. Oh, I see that they're turning back. They're heading back in. They're heading back into the uh, pits. And there you go. So I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what a thrill it is to be able to see that, see that Atlas Van Line running once again here for the first time restored since 1981 here in Seattle, restored to Unlimited Race Boat Museum. And there goes the uh, Miss Budweiser, also dri driven by uh, Chip Hanauer. And that, too, is a great, beautiful boat that's been restored. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, brings back a lot of memories, does it not? Uh, as it hits back into the pits, you just love that noise. Rom, rom, rom. <laughs> Beautiful. What a great day for racing here at Shores Lake Washington. Well, coming up next is the uh, Unlimited Concession Cup for the uh, Seafair uh, in high definition this year. Saw Video Productions has made some purchases and some changes over the years. And I'll tell you about that. Over the last few years, we've been making some uh, changes. We've had an opportunity to be able to down here for the past uh, 30 years in film. So uh, you'll want to be able to uh, go to uh, uh, SawVideoProductions.com or go to and order some of that great video. All right, we'll be back uh, with more racing here in just a minute.
You've been watching Hydroplanes from 2014, copyright 2014, 2020, Salvadio Productions. All rights are reserved. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like more information about our services, go to salvadioproductions.com. All rights reserved. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.